time now for our weekly Race in America segment with RT's Ashley Banks. Hey there, Ashley. What are you tackling today? Hi, Manila. Right now on Race in America, I'll be discussing the Black Lives Matter organization and what place it fills in today's society. <laughs> okay, two things. First off, did she say that woman's name was Manila, like a Manila envelope? That's just wrong. And secondly, the place, the Black Lives Matter movement, or organization, I should say, occupies in America is as a terrorist organization. Enough said. Every year, Black Girls Rock organization hosts the Black Girls Rock Awards, honoring and starring famous actors, singers, and various performers. The purpose of this award show is to empower and mentor the youth in order to promote the arts for young women of color and to create dialogue and analysis of the ways in which women of color are portrayed in media. I know what you're probably thinking. Well, what does this have to do with BLM? Because that's exactly what I thought when I watched this. Just, just wait. I covered the red carpet event for the Black Girls Rock Award Show 2017 and spoke with some people in the limelight. Take a look. I'm here at the red carpet for the Black Girls Rock Award Show 2017. This year, Taraji P. Henson will be hosting the awards and one of the honorees will be Black Lives Matter. That's right. These morons are honoring a domestic terrorist organization with an award. I don't get it. They're they're proud to support an organization that every time there's a get together, they destroy. <laughs> Why? For seven years, the Black Girls Rock organization has been hosting the award show in order to give black girls and black women everywhere hope and a sense of belonging in a country that hasn't and still isn't always making them feel welcomed. In 2017, many young black girls face suspension or some sort of consequence for simply wearing their natural hair and natural styles, which can really place a damper on an individual's self-esteem. So apparently black girls should be exempt from dress codes because f*** whitey. Earlier this year in Malden, Massachusetts, 15-year-old twin girls were given detention slips for wearing box braids. They were told the braids were a distraction. These girls were also pulled from their sports teams and told they were not allowed to go to prom. Well, seeing as they go to a charter school, charter schools tend to have dress codes and certain hairstyles are acceptable and certain styles aren't. And when somebody goes to school with a hairstyle that's against the dress code, yeah, it's going to be a little distracting. I spoke with celebrities on the red carpet to get their take on the racial climate in this country and what it means that Black Lives Matter is being honored. It means that you're willing to honor a domestic terrorist organization just to push a narrative. Being in the film Detroit, even though it happened 50 years ago, um, it's something that we're still seeing a lot of parallels between what happened 50 years ago and today. So honoring Black Lives Matter here tonight is is a great situation because it continues to push the narrative forward that reform has to happen and a bigger conversation has to ma happen system systemically um, in order to really see any real change. Well, here's one other thing that needs to be reformed that you can add to the list. Stop supporting killers and terrorists. Back in the 60s and 70s, the Black Panther Party, thieves and killers. Convicted murderers, Asada Shakur, terrorist. Now, BLM, domestic terrorists. And they still get your support for some unknown, ungodly reason. How about you stop supporting terrorists and murderers and start supporting people that try to enact change legally? It's very important that people are aware of the political situations that are going on in the world and that uh, certain people are singled out in ways that they shouldn't be. Um, and I feel like if one person goes through something, that we're all going through it. Really, Maxwell? Does that include the mentally disabled man that was kidnapped by four BLM members and tortured for a couple days? Hmm? Does that, does that include him? Or is it only black people that matter?
Hmm? I believe that with everything that's been happening, it is the grand opportunity for those of us of the faith to step forward and, and offer not just prayer, not just a word from God, but our lives and our gifts and our, our talents to move forward and help those who are suffering and those who have been caught up in, in Black Lives Matter. You'd think a gospel singer, someone who's supposed to be a good Christian person, would be one of the first to denounce the violence perpetuated and perpetrated by BLM. But of course not. I'm happy that Black Lives Matter is being uh, being honored tonight. Um, it's it's the things that have happened have been tragic, and I feel like though we uh, we're definitely getting eyes on it, we need to get people on the problem. I mean, you know, the marching and all of that is cool, fine, and good. But at the end of the day, if after the march is over, people are still getting killed, what did the march do? So I feel like I'm not saying that I have the answers because I don't, but I feel like we should stop marching and start trying to figure out what the answer is to this problem. Now, when you say things have been tragic are you talking about just the things that have happened to black people or the things that have happened because of black people like i said earlier those four blm members kidnapping and torturing a disabled white guy that sort of thing is that tragic or is it okay because it's part of blm and it's part of standing up torturing a disabled person that probably didn't even know what was going on and why that's it. I'm not sitting through the rest of this 10 plus minute BLM propaganda bull piece. You can watch the rest if you'd like, but I'm done. If you've made it this far, let me just stress I'm not a racist. I just don't support domestic terrorism. Holy crap, you've made it through to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe down below. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And now, roll the outro.